Hey guys! Alright, we're here today to check out the latest video single from Blood Red Hourglass Nightmares or Dreams 2. No shit, Sherlock. Yeah, they're just bad dreams. Yeah, they're just dreams where things go kind of sideways. But, having said that, I hate those dreams when you're like having some sex. By the way, the other night I had a dream that I was in the backseat of a taxi with, with a Nona and, and she wanted to get frisky with me. And I was like, you know what, fuck it, let's go with it. And then I woke up and I was like, fuck! Really? I don't know if it, I don't know if it saved me or yeah, but I couldn't really tell her face. I just know she was a Nona because like I kind of got the Nona vibe, and I was like, "Fuck, do I really want to do this?" And I was like, "Ah, fuck it, I'm just gonna go with it." And then I woke up. Wow. God damn! I learned <laughs> something new about you. You're into you're into gilfs. <laughs> Gilf. Yeah. Uh, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm getting up there anyways. Uh, I'm I'm pretty much almost becoming one. I mean, the other day I I. I I dislocated a rib eating a burrito. Eating a burrito. Two, then, was it two ribs or just one rib? One rib. And then two days later, I pulled my groin getting out of bed. You so pulled like, your groin in your sleep, and then when you got out of bed, you noticed. Yeah. So maybe it was because of Nona. I was trying to get away from her. We've gone full circle with yeah. this. Yeah. All right. So let's check out this video from Blood Red Hourglass with our Valcos. I was waiting for the plug. Valcos. Making great bands sound even greater since whenever... When they, they started start. making them, I, I don't know when they started making I'm, them. I'm very excited for this because the last two were absolutely amazing. The last two what? Videos from Blood Red Hourglass yeah. or the last videos we checked it out with Valkos? I mean, those ones too. Exactly. I'm, I, I'm telling you, guys, if you need a pair as awesome as this pair is, use code word Pedro and you get a discount. You help us, you help you. Just go buy a pair of headphones. It's, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Plus, the noise cancellation is awesome. So if you're married and you want to cancel your wife, not not physically cancel her, but at least noise cancel her. Noise cancel her. Th these things are a beauty. They're a beauty. Beauty. All right. The last two videos from Blood Red Hourglass were awesome, like you said. So let's go for the trifactor. Let's yeah. go three for three. Let's do this.
can't press repeat. Press repeat on this shit. Oh. This song is meant to be heard plenty of times in a row. This is their best single so far. Yeah, I was going to say, it's this the one, three. Drag Me the Rain, and uh, Ver Veritas. Veritas is, out of the three, is not my favorite. For me, it's just because it's of just that... It's just the weakest one because of that ending. Ending. Yeah. Okay, so but let's, but let's not go back down that road. But, yes, I, I'm with you. A hundred percent. That that sequence... That's a good order. Right that's, that's where I'm at. Uh, now, listen to this song. I, this is a very unique track from them because I've been listening to Blood Red Hourglass, you know, since I was a wee lad on this channel with you. Yeah. I mean, we discovered them early on in their, in, in their... Well, not really early on in their career, but... When we discovered them, they were not as big as they are now. Let's yeah. put it that way. So I kind of feel like I've grown with them. You know, like we've taken steps side by side. You know, it's like, yeah. it's like I, I almost feel like that father figure seeing your, your child grow to become one day a man. You know what I mean? Like I, I kind of have that, that relationship with this band. I, I, just, I, I feel really connected to them. I, I don't think I've ever heard a song that has the dynamic that this song has. This song feels very out of the box, like very unique in the way it's constructed. When, normally, when you listen to a Blood Red Hourglass song, you always have a feeling like, hey, this is Blood Red Hourglass. You always, there's always something in there, either be the vocals, the song structure, uh, some of the melodies. They, they have a very specific DNA to their sound. There's a very specific fragrance to the way they come across. Yeah. This song to me, while having still that, that, that fragrance it didn't have as but it, much yeah it wasn't full on it didn't it, it felt like they're doing something new yeah but but i felt like there were some elements of waves of black from their previous record and also uh six feet savior there, there was some like, i'm not saying like this song is a merger of those two songs put together no but i felt some like the elements that were yeah i almost feel like this is a song that kind of becomes what it is because of how other songs came in before it. So a little bit of an influence from a song from here, a little bit of an influence from a song from here, and you put it together and next thing you know, you have a song that's that while having, while being perhaps influenced by previous tracks, sounds nothing like previous tracks, if, if this makes any sense whatsoever. I felt like this was a very unique track. Like the, 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 while having similarities to other songs, there was a lot of new, new things to digest about this song. The sound, for example. It, it, it was super melodic, heavy at the same time. Yeah. Oh, very. The you, vocals. I feel like in this song, he used. Uh, like he, he likes to use the screaming vocals, and I like the screaming vocals. But in this song, I felt like there was more of the harsher vocals than there were the screaming ones. He almost almost went there into a little bit of a squeaky pig squeal there. Sometimes, but it. The, the, Which I thought was different. I, I really liked the 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 deeper deeper ones that he did because those ones. They bring a lot more uh, heaviness to the song, and the song, like you said, is very melodic, especially in the chorus. The chorus, the guitar, and everything, with everything, the momentum of the song just making it... It feels melodic. heavy because of the momentum of the song, but when you look at it, the song is actually super melodic. Yeah. It's just that it has a lot of volume, and that volume and that momentum makes the song feel heavy. Yeah. But, it, it, but I agree with you, it's actually his vocals that are making the song feel a little bit heavier, specifically in the chorus there. Wow, what a, what a, what a bombastic track. Yeah. And I love the guitar solo. I love the guitar solo. To me, a guitar solo has to be in a song to fit a purpose. And, and the purpose should not be, we have a song, therefore we need a solo. I'm not saying, I'm not one of those that thinks that every song has to have a solo. There's songs you can get away with, with without it. But if you're gonna put a solo in the track, what's the purpose? Like, what are you What are you trying to achieve with the, with, the, with the guitar solo? What are you trying to do? So I always look for a guitar solo, not just from the technicality of, of how does it sound, but what, what purpose does it meet within the song? Like, what is it doing? I felt like the solo on this track, it came in at the right time, with the right melody, with the right push forward, because it, it's not one of those solos that pauses the track and you're having the solo kind of giving you almost a chance to catch your breath. The solo was as intense as far as, as, as the momentum, like you're saying, uh, as the rest of the track was. I felt like every, there was just like great momentum yeah. to the track. Super melodic, volume, creating heaviness through that volume. Uh, the, the vocals, I felt like he, was, he went a little bit outside. He has a, a, a really cool range. The screaming, the harsh vocals and everything in between. He does really 
strange things with his voice sometimes, which I really like because you yeah. never you never really know what you're gonna get from him. He doesn't have like a pattern, if yeah, you will. Set set stand vocals. Yeah, it's it's it, it's always different, and I always feel like the vocals become very organic. Whatever the song takes him emotionally, and also from the lyrical content, he kind of goes there with whatever feels right at the time. So it's not like there's a a predetermined formula. You know, you know what I mean. Like some yeah. bands, it's like always like clean vocals here, harsh vocals there. That's clean kind of vocals, what you're gonna get. Yeah. So with them, I always feel like there's no pattern whatsoever. But I felt on this song, he threw in a couple of different things. Different yeah. things, like some of some of those, uh, like those those almost like brutal death metal pig squeals. Not not full on, but like, just a tip. Just yeah, a tip. like the, the like the pig kind of poked his head through to see what was happening. Did, did, did you get that? I got, I got a little bit of that. But I, I was really happy with the sound of the, the deeper ones. I just love this song. I love the, the everything about this track. I'm with you. From the three singles... This one... This one is the best one yeah, so far. And then Veritas is the last one. And, and it's not that Veritas is not a good about, song. It's just that little part at the end. That it's just that little part at the end that wasn't a... You, uh, it makes it a little bit weaker than the other two. The other two are super strong. But they this... don't have anything that makes me second guess it. But that one... That's the only thing. This track screams single. I'm, I'm surprised actually they didn't release this one first. Yeah. Well, I'm actually happy they did, because then they started with a good one, then they give us the kind of weaker one, and then they give us this one to really. Kick I don't us. think they look at the. They don't look at as it. a weaker one. But I know, but in the way that it, it has played out, I think it was in a good order. Yeah, I agree with you. It kind of been like a nice bombastic track at the beginning, dropped a little bit, and now they came back again with a really strong single. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this album. These guys never disappoint. I, I seriously like every record. It's like they're they're the sound that I love. Like you know what I mean. From the first time we we, we did one of their videos, which uh, was it, where it's Sinners Crawl. I think that's the first yeah, video yeah. we've ever did. So since the first time we did that video up until now, this has been a band that I like. I said we've been following their career. We've been listening to them, and it, they're one of my favorite Finnish bands. Like really, they're they're, they're in one the, of the bands that started the love for Finland. They're they're one of the bands. Yeah, I, I'm, you well, you can put them into that category. I I, I think Winter Sun, Insomnium, Children of Bodom, uh, Wolf Heart, and then probably Blood Red Hourglass would be. I mean, that's some company to be in. Yeah, that's some incredible company to be in. But I just love their sound. Super melodic, super driven, super emotional, heavy, great vocals. Like just fuck, man, these guys. These guys, should, these guys should be playing in front of fucking arenas yeah. with people, not like empty arenas. Empty I'm sure, arenas. I'm sure they could do that now, but like, no, with people. Like, these guys deserve everything in the world. Great band. All right, guys, this is it for today. Come back tomorrow uh, and we'll have more videos for you. Yeah. Right? And, and if you want to listen to this song, don't fucking listen to this song on some JVC headphones. Falco. The only way to. This is actually the first time we listened to them. With these new ones. No, we, yeah, we have to listen to Veritas with Valkos. Oh, uh, maybe it'll make the song even better. Exactly. I, I actually, I think from now on, when I listen to a Finnish band, I'm only going to listen to it with Valkos. I, I think it brings out uh, the best in them. Plus three chemistry. Yeah, it's almost like I'm sitting there when they were recording it. Yeah. That's what I'm going with. All right, guys, see you at the next video. See ya.